What we realized when we were developing this brand is that it's really who we are as people and what we believe in that differentiates Dunedin from other cities. And it's these differences that we need to communicate through the Dunedin brand story. Ultimately, Dunedin needs to be more interesting, authentic and intriguing than other cities. There's some amazing people doing some fantastic international stuff down here, but you won't hear them showing off about it. The other people here are practical and they get on with it. Dunedin's quite full of unusual characters, some quite quirky. You might call them colourful, and they tell it like it is. Yeah, people in Dunedin are pretty interesting. They know how to spin a good yard. They've got pretty strong opinions. Um, they are extremely conservative but at the same time they seem to be able to tolerate views, um, quite divergent views, um, so it's an interesting dichotomy. The creative approach we came up with was using locals to tell our stories. Uh, the tone of voice is, is conversational, it's believable, it's genuine, and the visual style, photographic style, is using interesting points of view that are not necessarily expected. Uh, we deliberately avoided sort of traditional hard sell type advertising techniques by using interesting and intriguing stories, we use the sort of subtext to communicate the key messages. One of the ads we developed was for Alba. Here at Alba, when, because of its Dunedin and the Scottish heritage, we try and keep it quite authentic to a typical kind of Scottish pub you'd find in Edinburgh. So we've got a good selection of whiskies. Haggis in the menu, Scotch pies, and um, Celtic music, a folk session, and the hot water bottles is just an added extra. The underlying messages of this particular ad were that you can still have fun when it's cold outside. Dean has a, a pretty interesting and kind of uh, quirky nightlife. We have a, a good sense of humour and we, we don't tend to take ourselves too seriously.